This is an introduction to the color wheel and color mixing and watercolor painting for Art Fundamentals. The first thing you'll need is your worksheet and your ultra fine Sharpie, which you will find in your kit. Please put your name on the line. And we're going to label the six intermediate colors. Here you see the three primaries, yellow, red, and blue, and the three secondaries, orange, green, violet. So we have to complete the six intermediates that are missing. Um, to figure out which one goes here, you look at the both on either side, yellow, green. So we know that right here is yellow, green. Blue, green. We always speak with the primary color first. Blue, violet. Red, violet. red, orange, and yellow, orange. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this aside and take out our paint kit. And inside you will find oops, um, a little strip of paper. We're going to flip that over and use and write on the white side. Um, there's a nice paintbrush. This is your mixing tray where you make colors. We're going to lift this out and put it here. I'm going to number these. So right uh, with white at the top, uh, I'm going to put a number right here for each one. So number one, and yes, you can write right on here with your Sharpie. Number two, number three, number four, Five and six are the same. Seven and eight. Because we're going to label them on here to create like a key of what each color is. So starting at the top with number one is white. Number two is black. Number three is blue violet. Now you'll notice that this is not a traditional set of colors. This is um, an educational mixing palette. Number four is blue. Five and six are both the same. They are both yellow because you use yellow a lot to make other colors. So that's why there's two. All right, and then seven and eight. Seven is red orange. It looks like a dark orange, or you might even have thought it was red. This is called red orange. And then number eight is red violet. And these are activated by water. So they're just dry, right? And we're going to activate them with water. So make sure you take a moment to label your paint and your list correctly. All right, I'm putting this back, taking out the brush. All right, um, with your space, you want to have a couple things, um, something like either a paper towel, toilet paper, a paper napkin, perhaps even an old towel that you can get paint on. This is just to dry your brush in between. So whatever paper product you have, and then you're going to need a, a container for water. Um, a disposable cup works well. Nothing that someone's going to drink out of again. So this is an old, you can tell it's all painty, an old cup. Um, here is a Dunkin' Donuts cup. Here is a container from yogurt. I'm going to use this. Oh, it's heavy. I'm going to use this butter container because it's less likely to spill. Cups can spill easier. So a larger container that is um, has straight sides might be a better, a better choice. Okay, so we're going to do... We're going to do it my way. We're going to do it um, in the order, a little bit different order perhaps. Um, I'm right-handed, so my water is over here, 
and my paint is over on the right side also. And we're just focusing right now on the wheel and the hues column. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to do a couple that just don't require any mixing. They're right here in the palette. So I'm going to put this here, make sure you can see. Okay. So, um, I know it's off camera. You can't see, but I'm wetting my brush just a little bit. Um, five and six are both the same. So let's choose five. When I paint, I'm going to press my brush down and pull towards me. Oh, and I always pause before I paint a spot and make sure that I am in fact painting the right spot, the right section, trying to stay within the lines. And we're also going to do the yellow over here in the hues column. Hue just means um, the name of the color. So the hue of a banana is yellow. You don't need much water, just enough to activate it so you get a nice rich color. Otherwise, if you put too much water on your brush, then you have this um, soft, watery, pale color that is not what we're looking for. All right, next let's do blue. Locate blue on your wheel. Again, no mixing. Um, it is number four. A little bit of water, not much. smooth. You can turn your paper. It's a little bit harder for me to do that on camera. I don't want to confuse you. Oops, went outside a little bit. Whoa. We're learning, not looking for perfection. Do your best. Uh, let's see. Blue goes here. So I pause and look and see where I'm going because if you do paint in the wrong spot, you got to let it dry and Perhaps you can paint over it, but not likely because these are watercolor paints. Okay. So next, typically next I would do red, but I'm going to do the red violet because it's already in our kit. We don't have to make it. So number eight on your paint tray and let's locate red violet. It's only going to be over here in the wheel. It's not going to be in the hues column simply because the hues column is only primary and secondary. Any color with two letters like this, red violet, these are our intermediates. If you think of the word intermediate, it means in the middle. So intermediate colors are between the primaries and secondaries. In this case, red and violet. Okay, next we're going to do red-orange, which is number seven in your um, paint tray. Please wash your brush well in between colors. Red-orange, number seven in your tray. A little bit of water, just enough to activate it. Don't lean on wet paint. So this is a dark orange. All right, let's do blue violet and then violet. So blue violet's in your kit, that's number three, your tray, your paint tray. And then we'll put these two together to make violet. So, ooh. okay, where was I? Blue violet, number three. A little bit of water to activate it. So you want that nice, rich, deep color. And like I've said, maybe this is something you already know. Maybe this is brand new information. Maybe you haven't painted in a very long time. Or, or maybe you paint now and then. So 
I am speaking to everyone as if they um, have maybe a little knowledge of colors and color mixing, but um, this is an intro class, so we're keeping it basic. Okay, to make violet, typically you would use red and blue. Come together to make violet, also known as purple. We're going to take the red violet and the blue violet, which essentially is different recipe of red and blue together, and make violet. So this is the first color we're going to make, and we're going to put it in our tray anywhere. I'm going to probably go down here at the bottom. So three and eight get mixed together here in the tray to create violet, which we're also going to paint here. So that indicates that you need enough paint to paint it twice. Mm. So let's try this, mixing a color. I'm going to start with number three. Get lots of paint and put it here. This is my blue violet. It almost looks like a dark navy, but then it also kind of looks purple. Rinse good in between. Your brush is going to get stained, and that's fine. Um, let's add a little red violet to this. And what we're looking for is a what you and I would call purple. Just a plain, almost kind of, I always think of it as grape Kool-Aid. It doesn't look too red. It doesn't look too blue. I'm actually pretty happy with that. If I wasn't, I could add more red violet or blue violet, but I'm going to go with that. I think that's a good violet right there. So violet goes here. Yeah, that's a nice grape, grape candy kind of, kind of look. Violet. Not too much water, nice and bold. And I'm also, I made enough paint to put it over here. Double check, pause, see where you're painting, when they're in the right spot. Yes. I am working at my own pace and for the sake of a shortened video. So if you need to, obviously you can pause, rewind and work at your own pace. Okay. Let's make red. Typically you would have red already in your color tray, but this time, um, because it's a mixing educational set, we're going to make our own red using, um, these two colors together. So, um, I'll just work right here later. I will clean this up. Um, I'll just take a damp paper towel and wipe it dry. And after use, it'll get a little stained and that's okay. Cause it's plastic. All right. Red, orange, number seven. My water's getting a little dirty, but which is expected, but I don't want to change it out just yet. All right. So what we're aiming for is a nice rich red color. That looks a little pinky to me. I think I'm going to add more red orange. And I need to make enough to put it here and here. So keep in mind. I gotta do both. Okay. Um, where was I? A little more red orange, just a little bit. To get that nice red. There we go. Yes, I like that. Plain red. Yep. And over here, pause and look. This one, red. All right, so I'm going to pause there and take a look. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to pause here. Um, the next video will cover the rest of the ring and the rest of the hues column. So wipe your tray, get new clean water, clean your brush, and I'll see you soon.